<laughs> Morning, and how are you? I'm fine, I'm here. Excellent, I'm I don't even Wait, know if I can Danny. remember how to drive. I'm sure you can. It's, uh, you can tell it's, uh, it's a bank holiday weekend, can't you? <laughs> you can tell it's my day off, Bob. Because it was bloody lovely yesterday day before. And it, now was, it was, now it was. So, enough. ages since we've been out. Oh, no. Sorry about that, because I've been like busy, 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 busy. It's fine, I've been busy as well. The, uh, what would, ooh, wheezy. What would you like to get out of today? Just to see if I can drive. To ease yourself back into it then. Yeah. Um, how would it be then if we just did some, uh, well, some general driving and just did bits of everything? Maybe I'll, I'll take my send. When I want to take this in, if that's all right, and just yeah, that's fine. Do some manoeuvres when I can see. Maybe right, cool. Where are you thinking of going? Mm, town. Okay. It's quite busy today. Is it? It is. It is. Everybody's getting their shopping in before the bank holiday, I think. Off you jolly well go then. Let's just see what happens on the way. Oh God, we're gonna stall it straight away. Have you got any practicing in between or? No. No. Go. Uh oh. I ain't drove since last time. Right, you cool. Oh. It's a good start. Didn't stall. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Tricky that one. Oh, it feels like jerky. It's weird as hell driving, you know, Bob. <laughs> It'll just take a few minutes just to smooth the little lumps and bumps out. But you don't forget how to do it. Well, at least I hope you don't. <laughs> good. Kept yourself out of conflict like that. Very good. <laughs> he didn't give you much of a choice, did he? Of a bad job. Out now, isn't it? What do you think? I think it is a while since we've been out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, it was eight from March last time we went out, Bob. Alright. Mm -hmm. right. It is a while, but. It is. That's why I thought, oh my god, I'm going to forget everything that I've done.
Japan. Did you know? Uh, We've never gone up this hill. We've gone that way, I think, haven't we? We haven't we've gone that way. This is where I always get scared. See, they're like a nice. But they're not way too Nice, much. classy. Because he looked like he wasn't going to stop, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Good, well done. At that juncture, I mean, you very much are at the mercy of somebody else. You've just got to wait for somebody like him. Yeah. You're never going to get an opportunity. It's just constant queue of traffic. Well done. How'd that feel? Alright. Feel like you're in control? Yeah. Cool. It's interesting though, is that that guy holds back to, <coughs> to give you the opportunity to get out. The guy behind decides to get annoyed and blow his horn at him. It's just that uh, people never cease to amaze me. <coughs> he did look like he was going. <coughs> then he didn't. He didn't look like we were going to stop, and then he was like edging a bit. People are always in a hurry, but all they're going to do is hurry and join another queue. So where are we heading at the lights? No idea, I'm just seeing where I'm going. Make your mind up when you get there. I'm just trying to go places where I haven't been before. How about if we went right at the lights and then left up past the bus station? Because I don't think we've come from that angle, have we? That sounds like a plan. Yeah. You don't have to, it's just a suggestion. Yeah, yeah. St Anne's this afternoon. What's that? Uh, it's next to Blackpool. Oh, are you the going Porsche and the Blackpool. We're your partner. Yeah. I hope it's nice for you. Touch wood. Are you up to anything exciting? Working. That's not really exciting. Tomorrow, working tomorrow night. Sat day, but I've got Sunday off because it's the only day apart from Christmas in the whole retail that you get it off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. You'll make the most of it. I'm not doing now, I'm right? just gonna chill out. Actually, I'm lying, I'm going for a meal. Oh, very nice. No, I'm nice. To uh, boyfriend's auntie's house. Well, it's... I've never... You are right, I've never been that way. I was just trying to think as we came down there. But you got yourself sort of sat ready. Because these lights stay well, you could have put the handbrake on, gone into neutral and just mm. completely relaxed. But there's nothing wrong with the way you've done it. It's just... Oh. Becomes, uh, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> becomes particularly important, I think, when you're if you're on a long journey, you know, you need to, you don't want to be like ready all the time. Or when you're driving for a living, you know, you just take these moments sometimes just to give yourself the opportunity to chill out a bit. Yeah. Like I said, no wrong with the way you've done it. Ready for it though, and again, I felt you ease back as you saw him.
mind, okay? What do you reckon? It would help anybody. Maybe. I don't know. No, if you're not sure, stick it on. Because, I mean, the left-hand lane's marked clearly for turning left, but it could be that that, that pedestrian doesn't know that. Yeah. So, good call. I think it's... I didn't... <laughs> she were like, you can let you are going to go, down go! <laughs> Well, it would be okay if your actions on the horn, if you beat the horn and that was going to prevent an accident, that would be allowed. But if it's just to get annoyed with people, no, you're not allowed to do that. There you go, you see? Put the hazard warning lights on, you can park anywhere you like. <laughs> it's a good example, isn't it? Good. I like how you give yourself plenty of room there. Just in case they did what they're doing. Oh! <laughs> Do you know I thought you were going to crash into that? Mm, one? It, it looked. It looked like it might happen, didn't it? But you'd anticipated and left yourself the room, which is great. Where should we go from here, do you reckon? You best not go. You might. Yeah. You had that look about him, didn't you? You're ready to be aware of him, because you just... Oh, aware of well, you don't know. Passengers, you know, pedestrians. Yeah. Be the, the dangers, do you think? Yeah. Him. Him cut in the corner like he did. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> I always pick awkward places to go in. Ah, that's good. Nice test. Test of your patience. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's a test of your patience, if not else, is it? Because you just you're not faced with a choice but wait. And clearly, she didn't look. She like Come on. Be nice. Let me go. Centre stuff, some general junction work. The, uh, fancy some dual carriageway stuff, maybe. 
feel I feel all right when it comes to dual carriageways. I feel like I'm all right with everything. But it's, I'm just thinking like, I don't even know what there is that I don't know. But yeah, I'll do whatever you think. It's, well, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing springs to mind for me that says we need to work on that. Because everything works. You know, you're, you're, you're reacting to what's around you. To go from a Nevi? Yeah, can do, yeah. Can you this way, can you? You can. Yeah, we're going that way around. Mm. Ferry bridge that way. Do a little loop down, maybe down to Darrett and do the loop back. That'd sound like a plan. Say that again. So if we went this way up to the roundabout left, down to Featherston, Featherston. Mm. <laughs> Ferry bridge, I mean. Join the dual carriage with there. Oh, get off at Darren. Spin around, yeah, come yeah, back yeah. up. This confuses me, which way do I get out of here? I would always go this way rather than that way. Can you think why? Right, so I'm in right, I'm right, and it's just yeah. in part there. It's just because it's part there, yeah. <laughs> can you edit that can beat that down? <laughs> I don't want to beep in there. We well, can use either of those, but I think from there you get the best view. I don't like coming to that one because you don't get as good a view here because you're closer to it. But either one's acceptable, really. But most people use that one on the left, the other one for right, but I think it'll be straight to you. So if we went left here and across the ferry bridge, aren't we?
What do you think my driving's like today? It's alright, mate. Do you feel any different? No. It's, I mean, a couple of little lumps when we first start, but there were only teeny, teeny, tiny lumps, so within a few minutes you're, you're laying those out. Okay. It looks relaxed. You look like you're in control. You're reacting to what's around you. What more can I want? So just thinking about, the, as we came down that road there, you deliberately slowed as we came through. So it's a conscious decision. And you're saying, there's, well, it's a busy area, there's cars around. What else might, might, might come into play there? What else are we thinking about? The speed bumps. Hmm. What else? Kids. Hmm. Yeah, you mentioned it earlier, about it being school holders. Hmm. So with lots of parked cars. There's a shop, there's a chippy, there's all sorts down there. Draw at the speed, I think I probably would have driven down there. The guy behind doesn't want to drive at that speed, but that can create all sorts of pressure, can't it? As you can see clearly that he's like, oh, come on, come on, come on. I'm just trying to be safe. Mm. But you didn't allow that to speed you up. And that's the important thing. Mm. Because that, oh, oh, <laughs> did you catch that? You probably missed that with that white car coming. The guy with the trailer and just pulled straight out in front of that car. That's, um, We've seen a lot of them like today, haven't we? Mm. Near misses. See, but it's... It's not bothered him with trailer though, clearly. Look, he's going round uh, him. Yeah, he's just done it again, isn't he? Just like, bless. Though if you've got somebody like that pulls out in front of you, you know, if you've got somebody like the guy behind before being close to you, if you're not at the right speed and you have to brake firmly, the guy's just going to be straight in the back of you, isn't he? So you've taken the sensible option by selecting the correct speed for the situation that you're in, mm. which is great. That's what being a driver is all about. It's about making good decisions. So how do you think you are with decision making? I think I'm good with decision making. Obviously, I'm not one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you, you know, you, you, it's it's difficult when you when you've got to undergo an assessment and it's a snapshot in time. Um, we all make mistakes occasionally. It's just it's neither here nor there. Really, it doesn't ma doesn't make you a bad person. <laughs> make me a bad driver. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. You know, it's uh, it's just one of them things, you know, that's uh, circumstances were at the time. If you re-ran the test, 
you might do it differently if you left 10 seconds earlier 10 seconds later so it's it's very easy to beat yourself up over it but from what I've observed coming through it all looks super relaxed you look totally in control um, you're making decisions based upon what you can see and as far as I can see everything's working fine so should we go right at the end and then left mm -hmm. Right at the end of this road, and then that end of here. Yeah, just this here. one. Yeah. Oh, this is weird. I've never been up this way no. before. Right. And I've got to start picking my speed up. Tricky, isn't it? In this tiniest like space. Oh god. You do, of course, have the slip road to help you if you need it. Interesting the way they've marked the road there, isn't it? Because they've left the lane markings on, yet they've closed that right hand lane with the hatch markings. It's slightly confused, isn't it?
you're, when you're in places like this, it's, there's always obviously lots to take account of. So we'll just follow this lane. Shall I go that way? Back to Nottingham? Yeah, go on then. That'd be interesting. Some nice little country roads here. I've never drove down there, ever. I've never? Oh, yeah, they have. I there don't think we've been on this road. We've been on the other one at the bottom, but this is an interesting road coming this way. Because this is where Dovecot Park is, isn't it, up here? There's uh, a lot around. see that the road kind of comes to an end but that the end of that road's constantly moving isn't it mm. so we call a limit point at so the minute it's not moving so we would wait until you see the road starting to partly that then you know you can put the power back on does that make sense it does make sense yeah so it means even on a road you've never been on before so the minute you can't see around the corner and it all looks still Look at the trees on that side against the wall, it's stood still, but as you see, as you're getting closer, mm. it starts to open out. That's your limit point. So by watching that, you can chase that limit point and make sure you're driving at exactly the right speed. Or you're never going faster than you're able to stop. Yeah. It does make sense. 
Yeah, I've never talked about it before. We have a bit, yeah. You're not slowing down, you're taking the lower gear with more revs on. That was the awfulest corner of that So thing. that's really tough, that one. No, I'd be in second. Right. Do you want I mean, to I know stay you in second? Stay in second for just now. Go on, just take, take the speed up a little bit more. It's Don't worry about the engine revving that little bit higher. The reason that we're doing that is you might be coming up here in third. So if I was coming here, I'd take second, put loads of revs on, bring the clutch up, so that I was still revving like this. Now notice what happens this time as you come off the gas to slow. You don't need anywhere near as much weight. You've got it balanced on the accelerator. <laughs> so move in here before. It's and weird. left of the runaround. Right it's a more advanced technique. But we're just using yes. that, uh, we're using acceleration sense, it's called. I know what you mean, like keeping it so it'll stay yeah. the same speed as what you were on in third. And then I've tried, you, I've tried to yeah, do it. Yeah, it really works. And when you come off the gas, you've got more engine braking, so you can, it's, you can use it a bit more, keep the car balanced. It's not a terribly eco-friendly way to drive, but it does keep the car very well balanced. This is leading us out towards Whitley Bridge. Uh, sorry, I'm Whitley. Uh, Do you want me to stay around? No, I'll just carry on. Have a little play around with that technique that we just looked at before with the chase that end point of the road. No, because I can't see my end point. So you can just use the grass on the other side of the road this thing, you see. But it's a little low, it's not so easy to see. Right. So you look at the edge of the grass on the left to the edge of the other side, you can see it. Just starting to move down. Right, it's a lot I easier than on the edges. So with, with, with the edge, it's not quite so easy, but you can still do it. So you're just sort of looking at the shape of the bend, because once the, the, the bend starts, the, generally the curvature stays more or less the same. So you're just really measuring how much space you've got in front of the car and driving accordingly. You've got tons of space, you can drive fast if you haven't got much, you can drive slow. Like this, I can put my foot down. You can? Because... Go on then. Maybe 
coming up with this one. Yep, have a look so you think when you get closer. this situation tell you if anything what's happening mm, what do you reckon roadworks possibly how about the traffic going the other way is there anything we can learn from that so there'll be traffic lights there's some traffic lights stopping us here mm. and then letting them know yeah when right not good Wagons coming the other way as well. Could indicate that because we're coming up, there's a motorway at the end of here. Could indicate that was shut. Oh, you're clever like that, Bob. I didn't think of that. Well, that's just logic. But you don't know what's at the end of the road. <laughs> but it probably isn't, though, because if it was, there'd be a queue here after the lights. But it's all logical, you know. The information's all there. Just learning how to read it. Yeah, she's doing it. She's, oh, right, she's already 
my friends who she's doing oh, now, so she said she'll do it. Right. No, so, no, I'd never pay for my hair getting done. I never could do it. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't charge her for the nails. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um. Go down, 
Oh, of course, yeah. Go on then, I'll shut up. <laughs> so the whole key really is to get it set up before the corner. So right. you've got everything right and then bang, all you gotta do is just drive around. Going around that way. Yes. Christ. Because of the way the mud is on the road, yeah. it's going that way. Jesus. So obviously they're a little tighter this time, but so as you can see it now, it's stood still, isn't it? So you can't really put the power on until you know. So tell me when you think it opens up. You're going, Ooh, then obviously the sensible thing to do is to back off. I'm not allowed to go on motorways at all then? No. Do you think I'd be able to do it? <laughs> I could possibly answer that. I'm sure you'd be careful with it. Of that I don't have any doubt. Situations like here, if I was driving that, I'd do what you did, took it to the light this way, I took it to the left. The bends go up to the left, I'd move to the right a bit just, just to get a better view. As long as you're not crossing the lane, then you're, you're not breaking any rules. I wouldn't do that on L test, of course, because uh, it's not what they're expecting. But, uh, it's nice to have these techniques. Where am I? This is coming up to the roundabout where we first turn left, so if we go left at the roundabout, That'll take us through Darren, right. through Carlton, and then we can pick up the uh, the Fev Road at the Oriental again, can't we? Yeah. We're already offline, mate. I'm going then. That's right, well, because you're in the right gear, you're able to just put the power on and zip through. Right, really. 
but I can sometimes feel a bit weird stopping for no reason. It's great fun to drive using those techniques. Um, and it's, I mean, once you've once you've passed your test, you may want to think about you know, signing up for Ross or something like that and, and learning more and more and more about I'd it because it's great fun. I'd love to do that. You know, just just playing the what if game all the time. It just it makes journeys pass mm -hmm. in no time at all. Well, I've been driving an hour now and I've. It's all about you know driving based on what you can see, what you can't see, what you might reasonably expect. There's a road on the left, somebody might come out. So you, you know, checking around, making sure you, what, what will I do if that happens? What else can you learn? What else might we expect along here, do you think? On this road. Mm. We've passed some clues. Have we? We have. What's he doing? <laughs> I don't know. I bet he wouldn't if he knew the cameras were on him, though. <laughs> People might see a bin wagon up here. A what? A bin wagon. Oh, I see, I wouldn't have thought of that. Why might I expect you to see a puppy anything? Because everybody's bins are out. And the bins were empty. The recycle bins were empty, so it's been this way. So it might still be there. Nobody in the bus stop. So good, you it's not, it's just, it's just the information there, and it's somebody else has told me how to do it. So, the bus stop on the left as we just went through the lights, nobody in it, so there might be a bus. Yeah. If there's somebody in it, the bus is behind us, or it's in front and they've missed it. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm just rolling back to this seat. <laughs> I knew why you were doing it. I knew I was. <laughs> reasoning behind it because I thought I'm blocking that road what if he wanted to get on with <laughs> I just look like a crazy woman to him what are you doing? He's got a new car now. Oh, has he? What's he got? Um, he's got a company car, VW. Is it Passat? Oh, nice. It's really nice. Oh, it's like a two cars. litre. Yeah. Have you had a bash yet? No, we won't let me. <laughs> I have asked though. He's like, Clay won't be able to start it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Still not busy. Yet. It's a bit nice and letting you out. Oh, change the mind again. Like that made a big difference to the people I saw. What do you reckon? Could have gone. Oh my god. Hesitated. Could have Failed. No, no. You missed one opportunity. Just a little quick. Mm -hmm. Ambulance might give you an opportunity. He's turning left, isn't he? Maybe. Bob, I'm just, I'm just can't go. It's okay. I just can't. I'm just shit. <laughs> no, you're not. There you go, so you're not. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my foot that? wouldn't have been there, it went all spasmed. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm so annoyed that I've stalled and we're doing so well. Well, has the stall made any difference to anything? In, in reality, has it? I should have gone, I'd have failed them for hesitating. I know I should, I wouldn't. No, you missed, you missed one opportunity. And we all know how harsh they can be. Well, uh, I'm not sure I agree. <laughs> I, I don't agree. think... I if, agree. If, <laughs> I think they're all against me. I think the system's wrong. It's not me, it's the system. <laughs> oh, lordy. And you have to avoid having a test at the end of the month. You never want the examiner with the glasses. Everybody said no, not shouldn't. end at month, beginning at month. I'll begin, all right. And <laughs> you shouldn't ever set your test on a, on a Friday. Because they're annoyed, are we? They just want to fail everyone. <laughs> but I mean, if you, if you properly analyse that, let's, let's look at the last hour and seven minutes. <laughs> How many mistakes you made? Even if you want to class them as mistakes, which I wouldn't. How many times has it not gone exactly the way you wanted it to go? A few. How many is a few? I've got two in my head. <laughs> I've got the stall. Right, that's one. I don't know, because... I didn't, I'm not, I'm not I'm not bothered about him. Well, I'm, I'm classing this, the hesitancy that you used it. With, and oh, the stall around the stall. Oh, well, I'm classing it all as one. Well, yeah. that's fair enough. So, <laughs> if you were an examiner and you just observed the drive like you just observed there, would you really fail somebody for something so small? I, well. Have you affected anybody around you? No, but. You see where I'm coming from, Bob, but I just think that they're just against me anyway. Mm. Jesus. If you'd made somebody change direction or speed, or you'd really adversely affected somebody else, then yeah. But you've missed one little opportunity, and it hasn't affected the outcome. It's not like you'd held anybody up. 
and the person that was in front of me were still waiting, so it hasn't changed anything at all, really. Mm. It was really nice, and if it, it wasn't for him, I'd, oh, I wouldn't have gone out. Somebody else probably would have, would have waited. People with all the traffic. Nice. Can't remember, just bank holiday weekend, isn't it? And it just gets silly season. an opportunity there, didn't I? I should have said, I'm caravaning this weekend. I love caravans, me. You did, were you? Kill <laughs> <No> fault ever. <laughs> oh, look, J-Way's game, we've got a thing. Oh, we've never had one of them. We've got a telly advert. Is it tonight? Oh, right. Or is it on weekend ITV? Watch it. It's, I think it's in where, you know, Britain's Got Talent's on. Well, I'll be an expensive advert. Oh no, apparently it's one of them. Where do you know you've got your funny adverts mm. and your annoying adverts? Right. And like your really good ones, like like the MS ones are really good. Yeah. Like you remember them as being like, oh my god, that was a really good advert. Yeah, and the Guinness ones. Yeah, and the Guinness ones, that's a good one. Well this one's a really funny, stupid one, that annoying one that you'll always remember. Alright. Oh, I'll watch it for that. Not that I watch Britain's Got Talent. Do you know? I missed it last week. I do sometimes. My other half likes and she likes Ben's Got Talent. Well, she said there were some real talented ones on last weekend. I know a lot of people have missed it though, I need to wait for it. Be on demand or something, I can watch it. So where are we heading? Is it Featherston or is it Purston Jaglin? Featherston. I've got a mate of mine lives in Purston Jaglin. I also know him by the same. You mean, you mean the just, East End of Fev? It's just <laughs> Purston, isn't it? Why do they call it Purston Jaglin? It's Featherston. <laughs> it's just the East End of Featherston. <laughs> he gets really upset when that's it. Is. <laughs> you mean Fev? It's not Fev! It's Preston Jacklin. Okay, so it says Featherston just above it. I'm gonna wear my rovers on it today as well. My Fev rovers on it. I don't know, what do you support your rugby, do you? Newcastle. Technically, if I was going to follow on, it would have to be cast there, my local team up. They're doing alright this season, as far as I can see. You know, the last couple of games. <laughs> rivals, guys. Types of rivals. Why am I in the game? Would you like to be stop? going where they live is a real it's a really annoying hill I'll sh do you know Dixon Street no oh, you've got me at a disadvantage here I don't know this area at all you will when we get there because all it is is on that road where you go to um, do you know St Wilfred's do you not know where St. Wilfred is? No. Oh, no, no, I do, I do. Yeah. You get some lights, crossroads, give Gunnarmy, St. Wilfred's, Featherston, or yeah. Pontefract on that long road. Yeah. Ah, you're just near there. When we go. But again, it's, there could be somebody about to cross the road who's not from you. You know, about to cross the road over there. And the signal would let them know that you're going that way. Because they might think you're going straight ahead. I don't think, it, as long as your signal's not confusing, then I think it's fine.
constructing. I have iron this. Like Tesh, you clutch control, do not it? Oh. All the stuff we start stuff does, yeah. This is why I wish I just had an automatic. Uh, Automatics are great, they just can't like go do go all go. the work. My friend Kelly's got one. They're amazing. Ah, oh, they're brilliant. If I, if I didn't need the car for, for this sort of malarkey, and uh, I don't know what I'm Can you imagine if we first started driving and you were in, and were put into that sort of situation, it'd be stalling, stalling all the time? Well, yeah. Is that why you wait a, a bit till? It is, to build your skills. Because it's, uh, otherwise it's just, well you know how stalling makes makes you feel when you're learning. Mm. It, it drives you nuts, doesn't it? You think you're a total failure. You remember when you first start, you think, oh no. And it's, it's, it's that, much, that much difference in the clutch pedal, you know, it's just. It's weird to think, it feels like forever ago though, doesn't it? Mm. Right. I know, I'm never going to get this, Bob. So as we've come up that section of road there, how's, how's all that gone, do you think? Could have been smoother, I think. Oh, maybe. What might have helped you to make it smoother, do you think? I was panicking. Because I am behind me and everybody. <laughs> Not a care in the world. He looked, he looked you straight in the face and stepped out in front of you. See, for situations like that, because you've got the guy behind, like, right on top of you, I'd open up a bigger gap here. Yeah, I want edging a lot, want that to him. And again, what you're doing is you're giving yourself the opportunity to just, just relax a little. Because in situations like that, you can get quite tense. If you're driving a long time, you start to get in between the shoulder blades because you're tense. It's your feet, doesn't it? Whereas if you've got yourself this space, then it's everything's easy. Loads of time to do everything, it's, you can just chill and you know, there's no. This is new. It is bloody new, I don't, I've never done it before. I've been up, I've been up this way before because I've been there at that homebrew shop. So, what, wait, what? It was just a road before, wasn't it? Bend around this way, take in. trucks in there. So, well, there you go. Well, this is it. Yeah, I'm not going all the way up there. It's a bit of pain to get back out. Mm -hmm. This is like a parking space, isn't it? It is. It is. So right, from here, 
you as soon as you follow this road you get to them lights where you go Does that take you me go back? right to Ponty and yeah. then you get past the golf club yeah and then you just get to yeah, yeah. New College and then the right, office that is. is that alright? yeah that's fine okay. I've got the sat nav in the glove box if I got lost you don't need it you've got to follow this road and then you just turn <laughs> right no, I've, I've, I mean I'm saying I don't know this area I've driven through it before but not very often but so that was good I'm glad we did that alright yeah because it was really busy wasn't it and it tested me Control. So because it's like you don't, you're not just looking in front of you, you're not just checking your clutch control, you're looking there, you're looking there, you're looking at the bloke that just walked out mm -hmm. in front of well, me. There's the road works, there's the car behind, there's people crossing the road, there's all sorts of things to take into account. Being got both. Mm -hmm. So, so, how do you think today went? So it surprised me because I didn't think I was going to be so natural with it. I thought it was going to be like, oh, I've stalled, I don't, know, I don't know what to do anymore, because you don't realise, you don't know, do you, and you've not drove in a long time. Well, I suppose you don't, but I mean, it's, if I'm honest, that went just about how I thought it would. I didn't think you'd have a trouble at all. Yeah, so, you've got I'm a lot of faith in me, though. Well, it's because, you, it's it's not because, you know, in years gone by, I would have said, oh, yeah, it'll be all right, because I've taught I will. Have you taught yourself? And you've got a great set of skills that you can depend on that are, they're not, they're not, Things you can you've got to think hard about that just happen because they're kind of inbuilt now. So, but what it's about is when we when we when we eventually come to the test is it's about just dealing with what's around. I just wish they want a test. Would it be a lot easier, wouldn't it? You could have just sat in the back for the last hour. It'd be dead easy then. Yeah. And they'd be like, "Yep." Yeah. It's about trying to get into that frame of mind where you you, you feel that way, but it's. You know, the little things like we talked about, like taking the time to chill out when you're at lights, opening up that little bit more space just helps to keep you that little bit calmer. Mm. Maybe. I don't know, maybe. Let's see. So that's fine. But we didn't do any manoeuvres, did we? No, we'll we didn't. Do some didn't. of them next time. Yeah, yeah, we'll do some okay. manoeuvres. Feel alright with manoeuvres. Yeah, fine.